Hello Crystal, so I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today's topic is going to be five years from now. If you are looking for personal guidance, by the way, you can book a personal reading with me down below. And yes, you can also follow me on Instagram. You have everything linked down below. <laughs> and by the way, thank you so much for everyone that has been joining our family and for everyone that has been, you know, booking personal readings with me. You guys are so amazing and generous. And also for your donations, by the way. Thank you so much. I am so, so grateful. All right, now let's jump into the future and let's see what is waiting for you in five years. So before I start reading, I just want to address a few things about what is happening in the world with the coronavirus. I just wanted to stay positive, to not fit the idea, because the more you add energy and momentum to that, then this is actually what makes it bigger. All right, so stay positive, pray for everyone to be healthy and strong so we can beat it. Now, if you are feeling sick or other people in your family or friends are feeling sick, be aware that you can beat it with fasting. Fasting is just an amazing thing and this is free. So fasting with teas, like I shared in my story yesterday on my Instagram. So teas with ginger. You can also add some honey and lemon. And also adding some turmeric in your, in your meals is amazing. So all these things are really going to fight the virus. Um, also, you can do like a little brew with water, hot water and one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother in it especially. So I hope this will help, but also keep in mind that the more you give faith to something, the more it manifests, okay? So try to stay positive, do not feed that, as I said before, and yeah, just go on with your life, be safe, do not touch people or you know, if you do not feel guided to go somewhere, listen to your intuition. You guys are really precious to me and I really hope that everything is going to be okay, that everything is okay with you. So stay positive, stay strong, boost this immune system, all right? So do some sport as well. Go and breathe some fresh air, okay? And also ventilate the air in your room, in your, in your house, because that is going to clear the energy. If you can also smudge the house, use some palisanto, burn some sage, um, you can also use something like that, because I'm seeing that a lot of people are not having mask or anything to actually clean their hands. If you do not have any alcohol solution to clean your hands, what you can do, this is something I use even to clear the energy. So you just spray it on your hands or just spray it in your house. So this is pretty much water. Um, I use bottled water, so not water from the tape. And you can even charge it with the moon, so that will be a lot more powerful to heal. And what I do, I put some lemon essential oil in it. So a few drops, you can use any essential oils you like because most of them, to not say every, <laughs> every one of them are here to clean viruses, so they're very, very strong. So what I like is orange, especially, um, lavender and lemon. I think lemon is like the best for me. So that's what I use and also the smell is divine. So you can clean your hands, you know, whenever you are outside with that spray. You do not need to buy anything with alcohol and plus alcohol is very bad for your skin. And this is just amazing. Unless you have some sensitivity, then test and see what works for you. So I hope this will help you guys. And I really hope that everything is going to be okay. This is just passing by. If you want me to talk about this more, I did a little reading on my Instagram. So just to make you aware, this is happening for a reason. Everything is always happening for a reason. So we just have to stay positive to take this time as an opportunity to focus on ourselves and our healths and maybe this little time for ourselves is going to help us to reflect on what is really important uh, and I'm sure this is here happening for that reason so yeah stay strong and positive and now let's start the rating so here's the first group with the quartz the second one with the rose quartz and the third one with the moonstone also make sure to stick until the end because I'm going to use charms and stickers and other techniques if you need to pause the video and meditate, please do so. So let's start with pile number one and see what is coming for you for the next five years. Okay, so first of all, we have the chariot. So this is very positive. This is talking about ambition, success. 
I'm also kind of seeing you breaking the codes with the chains. This is about freedom. With the doves appearing as well, this is all about freedom, love and peace. So I feel like you are going to find something that is going to bring stability and also something that is going to help you to regain your power and your freedom. I'm also seeing with the feet right here, kind of connecting with the universe energy. I feel like you are going to be guided with the moon. This is all about intuition, clarity. And I feel like you are actually finding that back. With the veil, this can also be like breaking that vision or that perspective that is making you a bit trapped of your reality. You know, so maybe thinking of a reality that is going to allow you to manifest the best thing for you. Because as I told you, this is a card of triumph. Okay, this is victory for me. Um, and also on the veil, you can see this is very subtle, but you can see the constellations. So I feel like this is some part of guidance, divine guidance that is going to give you the power in order for you to manifest what is right for you. I'm kind of seeing the, um, the rock, you know, kind of like in The Lion King, when this one is actually walking on top and showing the baby to, to everyone. <laughs> so I'm kind of getting that you being so powerful and so inspiring that people are going to only see you. Okay, so I feel like you are going to do something that is going to allow you to shine and allow you to be a lot more in alignment with your purpose. So I feel like this is also recognizing what is right for you. What do you need to do at the moment in order for you to find peace in the path you are choosing? And also with you holding the, um, like the chain, but also the... Um, I'm not sure how you call that. I'm going to call a wand. It's like you are going to really have the power to you know, focus on what is important and hold on to the things that are important for you in life. And this is really pushing you in that direction anyway. So whatever is important for you, like, stick for it, go for it, because that is your calling. And yes, I mean, this is a very peaceful and wise energy. We have the King of Cups. So this is someone who is going to be supportive. This is someone that is wise, in control, and someone that has a lot of discipline. So in my opinion, you are going to have to get out of your comfort zone because I'm seeing the shell and when you come out of your shell it's kind of like you are coming out of your yeah comfort zone or just your hermit's time let's say so I feel like it's all about reconnecting with yourself with whatever is calling you you can also see the water kind of like the rain washing uh, washing the, the the king so I feel like this is about clearing the energy because the the rain is actually a symbol of purification so I feel like he was purifying yourself in your own cocoon so maybe having your time alone or just focusing on what is important for you and then with that time you recognize that this is what I want to do this is what I want to fuel I'm also seeing a sense of balance with the two cups and they are empty, but because the rain is here, I feel like this is some divine, like, fulfillment that is going to manifest. So something that is going to fulfill you and fill the cups. Mm, it can also be two things that are important for you that you need to work on. Okay, so recognizing what is important, what do you want to achieve as two big goals. So this can be like with your career, and then this can be with maybe your love life, or with relationships, or whatever is calling you. I feel like this is two important things, especially, that are going to turn into success. And you can see the king actually stepping further. So that really means you need to actually take actions towards your goals, okay? Do not reside in this cocoon, in this safe place, because if you do not take risks, then you are not going to achieve anything that is important for you. So be aware that your actions, your energy, okay, and your dedication is what is going to allow this to manifest for you and the best result. So then I have little cards, tiny cards I was creating with stickers. So the first one here is the strength card. So this is really motivating you to be courageous and to be strong in order for you to build your success and to build your future. So what I'm getting here with the mountains is all about being grounded. So when you choose a path, when you choose something or when you choose someone as well, then you need to actually stick to it, okay, in order for things to grow. We have the clouds, that can also be a dream, um, that can also be something that is going to flourish, I'm seeing the nature all around and also also the, um, the grass so this is reminding me of something that is going to grow peacefully and I'm also seeing all the um, like all the flowers connected to 
the mind especially. So that can be something that is blooming in your mind, an idea. And if you was a bit hesitant about that, this is really pushing you to actually work on this and to be strong enough to turn it into a success. Um, this is Leo energy, so maybe you are Leo. I'm saying water and cancer especially. But that can be beyond this, of course. We also have the infinite symbol on top of the mind. So that can also be some infinite power, some infinite guidance, or something a bit divine that is delivered to you in order for you to work on something bigger for you. Because I feel like you have a divine mission and you are really being pushed in that direction. So you need to have the fuel and the passion to make it happen. The Donut. All right, so this is actually the card of the Empress. As you may know, the Empress is very nurturing, funny enough, with the Donut. So you have to give something to nurture people. With the Cactus, this is reminding me of anything that is growing in challenging areas. So in the desert, there's not, there's not so much water, but the Cactus is growing and even blooming beautifully. So this is inspiring you to keep growing, to bloom, all right, in order for you to nurture people. And when you listen to your calling and do something with excitement, I feel like this is what is going to give the boost and energy to nurture other people. The three number is about growth as well. So this is really announcing that whatever you seek for with strength, courage, passion, desire, then this is what is going to really give back to you, like nurture yourself back because you nurture people or nurture some divine purpose and mission. So this is something that is always like giving and receiving. The Empress can also be talking about creation. So maybe you are a creative, maybe you're meant to do something that you create or something you provide. But I feel like this is you understanding what is your role to play, maybe with your career maybe with the role that you have with someone as well. Although I feel like this is more like career or studies, especially for you guys. But you are meant to create something beautiful and be like a king. The king is someone that is empowered. The king understands his role to play. So that is something you have to understand as well in order for you to take, to take the right direction. Angel of balance. And it's funny because the king with the two cups, this was reminding me of finding balance or maybe finding balance with the goals that you have or maybe with um, with your life or maybe with that connection because I feel like this is about inner, like staying in your cocoon and then actually having the courage to stand up mm, so people can actually benefit from what you will share. So do not be afraid to free yourself. I feel like this is all about what this message was saying, breaking the chains so you can be free. And the angel is here to provide you anything that you need in order for you to build a success. I'm seeing the pyramids on the background. So this is really talking about balance, building something for yourself. And you are being helped here. I mean, the potion is here, so there's something magical, maybe something healing as well in order for you to find balance. There is also the moon on the background, so this is clarity being brought to you. And because I'm seeing blue color especially, that can be related to communication. So maybe you are meant to be a messenger. Maybe you're meant to be an avant-garde in a way, because I feel like you have this, this very strong and unique energy about yourself that you are meant to be nurturing and kind of be like, you know, that's, that's what I do and that's what I can do, so you, you too can do something beautiful. All right, so I feel like you are meant to be an inspiration and also bring balance to people because you are being provided this divine balance. The number four is also about stability and structure. The number eight is about meditation and reflection. So I feel like you will need to plan before building something. And with the pyramids, this is reminding me of also understanding the structure, understanding exactly what you actually need to build. And the pyramids, I mean, this is a very complex structure building. So you really have to understand how to turn it into perfection. Man holding a heart. So definitely, I feel like you maybe are meant to work with someone or that can also be you encountering someone because you are now shining, because you are now allowing yourself to get out of a comfort zone and show who you truly are to people. We also have the number four again appearing, so stability. And the number five is about magic and creation. And this was also talking about creation, right? So I truly think you are meant to create 
something with your career, but also connections, loving connections with people. On this card, I'm also seeing the necklace, and on this necklace, I'm seeing one ring. So that can also be your counterpart. Maybe you are manifesting someone that is meant to marry you, that is meant to have a family with you, because I feel like this is a very strong and mature relationship. Mm, I'm seeing all the, um, the flowers blooming all around. So this is someone that is blooming and growing. And I feel like you are on the same path. And this is why you are encountering this person. Because you two are ready to be in a relationship. So we have the wind appearing. So you can be air sign. Again, I'm seeing Leo energy. And Leos are very an animated person. When they want something, they are going to have the strength to do that. And I think this is why the tarot is just showing all your potential, guys. So if you are Leo, go for it. This is in your in your DNA, kind of. Uh, this is your magic. So you can build anything that you want. Nothing is going to break down the structure. Nothing is going to break you down. You are that strong. And I feel like this is reminding me that whenever some type of storm is happening, you are always going to find balance and stability and peace. No matter what is happening, you can see like the um, kind of like the, the tree forming a bridge as well. And so they are adapting to the motion of the wind. So they won't break. This is also a message for you guys. All right. So adapt all the time, because if you are so rigid about something, you are going to break. Just like a tree in a storm, if this one is too rigid, this one will break, this one will die. So I feel like this is also talking about this. If you are allowing things to be, if you're grounded and happy, no matter what is happening, then you are always going to bring the right things for you. And if not, then you are going to find that stability within, that peace within, that is going to allow you to be powerful enough to actually welcome that and grow from this. So you can master whatever was being taught to you. The little girl is also in a meditative state. So maybe finding a time for meditation so you can find balance. Also to communicate with the divine. I feel like this is very important for you guys. So maybe working on uh, like your meditation, like I said, or doing some yoga or something that is allowing you to be more connected to yourself or maybe to your angels and guides. And you can do so with meditations, guided meditations on YouTube even. Um, you can even do that with like drawing because all these inspirations or messages that comes to you, they are divine messages. So be aware of that and be attentive when things are being transferred to you because I feel like you are being guided here. The little girl is also reading right there. So I feel like you are meant to understand your story. So maybe what is important for you to achieve as destiny. So understanding your own story connected to your fate and destiny. Time to fly. So it is time for you to fly. It is time for you to open up to the world and to allow things to come to you. Because with that openness, this is when you welcome the right things for you. So you can explore. And you can see all the, um, the cards all around her. Oops. <laughs> time to fly and also the card was wanting to fly anyway so i feel like this is also kind of telling you that all the things you are fueling yourself with all all the game you play in your mind is pretty much manifesting all around you this is your reality so this is reminding me reminding you and reminding me maybe of the power okay that you possess with the mind but also what you consume so maybe the tower that you watch is actually helping you to manifest something. And if not, then you need to actually stop watching this, okay? And tarot or movies or musics you listen to, whatever you consume with that body or through other senses, this is very important because that is manifesting your reality. But it is time for you to fly. So I think this is a part of freedom, allowing things to come, allowing things to manifest for you all around you so you can actually just you know be happy to experience all these things the rapid is also appearing and this one is kind of like woo -hoo, cheering <laughs> cheering up uh, and having fun here so you are meant to have fun okay so it is time for you to allow that to come your way and when you think positively about a result and this is what is coming your way you create that energy you embody this energy so that is resonating with your energy and because i'm seeing so much like so much excitement and, and 
desire of discovery. I feel like this is what is coming your way. And the rabbit is also a symbol of things manifesting quickly for you and also a symbol of luck. So that's pretty good. So a few messages now for you guys. The first one, progress is the activity of today and the assurance of tomorrow. Isn't it so connected to today's topic? That is beautiful. If you doubt yourself, then indeed you stand on a shaky ground. Don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself, all right? And believe in the universe as well because you are being brought anything that, it, that you need in order for you to grow at this precise moment but also in the future. Beauty is found within. Do the things I want. So yes, this is really pushing you to do whatever is calling you at the moment. And to not overthink about how, when, anything like that, because this is just creating more resistance and limitations. So this is pretty much it with the cards. I'm now going to use the other techniques so we can see what is coming your way. I'm excited. I'm also going to use the, the Wheel of Fortune I was using in another reading, because I think this is going to help us to discover what is really coming for you. So, the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Jackpot, Trigon, Love, Opportunity, Lose, Abundance, Miracle, and Dream. Alright, so I'm going to turn the wheel three times so we can discover what is coming for you. Love is coming, this is pretty good. So lose, I guess you will have to lose a part of things, you know, sometimes it's about, um, you know, losing a partner, losing a friend, but this is losing in order for you to gain something, you have to think about that because, you know, when you look in the past even, you recognize that you losing something or someone was allowing you to redirect on a path that is right for you, so keep that in mind. Try again, okay, one more chance. Well, I guess I guess this is just to tell you whatever you will gain, okay, that is also a part of you losing something. So that may be the message to keep that in mind that it is not something connected to drama or chaos or lack. It is just here happening for a reason all the time. So I'm now going to use the grid and I'm going to use the charms. Oh. First of all, I kind of want to do that first. So in here, I have different messages for you guys. So I'm going to pick two of them for you and see what spirits have to tell you. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. All right. And maybe I think I was guided to actually do that after the lose message. Because I feel like this is to guide you to actually focus on the goal, but maybe the plan has to be changed. Another message. The journey is long, the journey is hard, the journey is worth it. I think this is so connected, guys. Very beautiful and inspiring. So now... Let's go with the charms. <laughs> okay, so all around I am seeing the tree, so that can also be some inspiration for you to grow. And I'm seeing this especially during Christmas season. So maybe something will happen during that time. Um, the giraffe. This is asking you to see from a higher perspective. All right, so whatever will manifest or whatever is happening in your life, try to see it from a divine perspective, detach yourself from the character you are playing in this lifetime and just tune with your higher self so you can see it and find a solution and not actually feed like the fear of or worry or anxiety or whatever. So for this grid. So work, we have the dolphin. 
I feel like this is all about understanding the priorities, making a jump, because you can see this one jump. So understanding the priority so you can work on that. So whatever is calling you, do not be afraid to take actions with your work. Travel, and that can also be transition, and the self. That can also be during Eastern, something happening. But because I'm seeing the rabbit and the egg, the rabbit is for me a symbol of luck. And this is also about things manifesting fast. So maybe transitions or travel and self-growth is going to manifest fast, especially when you are going to understand your own power. With the egg, this is something that is about to pop out, okay? This is you giving birth and giving life to a project or to something. With the self, I'm seeing you happy, joyful, shining, just like the sun. Um... With love, we have growth with a tree. So love is growing. This is very good. And I feel like this is someone that is divinely connected to you because we have the angel wing appearing with love, but also money. So I feel like whatever you work on is going to provide you this divine abundance and this divine love. So this is it with the charms. I'm now going to use the stickers. There is someone that is in awe or inspired by you and this is what I was also seeing in the reading. I feel like this is someone that is going to be a good supporter. Okay, so there's a lot of things happening here. With work and home, I'm seeing love. So doing the things you love and also sticking to the people, maybe at home, that are providing you that love back. Home, kiss, kiss, kiss. It can also be that you are going to move with like your lover i feel like this is announcing this peace so you're taking that direction when it comes to your career and home this can also be talking about like building a family with home autumn season may be important or letting go because the autumn season is for me like about letting go letting go and letting things just go where they are supposed to go or do whatever they are supposed to and allowing things to happen. You are in receiving mode as well. So whatever is going to come during this year, just be receiving and welcoming. Mm, with the self and love, I'm seeing things moving fast for you. I'm kind of seeing you being worried or kind of being like in a rush. And I feel like this is also some type of warning to take the time for yourself and take your time when it comes to love. Self-love or outside of you. I'm seeing you planning and scripting, so maybe that is something you need to do. That can also be announcing someone that is like a writer or doing something creative. Because I'm seeing music here. Music, writing, um, this can be drawing as well. Or someone that is a good planner, a boss, someone like that. Into businesses even. And the plant is also someone that is wanting to grow. So maybe you are manifesting someone like that in love. I feel like you two are going to be a very powerful couple and provide the needs that you actually desire in a relationship with this person. So I feel like this is someone that is very successful, was enough to give in a relationship materially, but also with their love because I'm seeing a lot of love here. So I'm going to conclude this reading with the dice and the dice is really going to give us more information with numerology. So two is about union and relationship and three is about growth as you may know. So I'm seeing some expansion with the things you love and the relationships that are benefiting your growth and yourself and love, as you can see. So this is what is coming for you guys. I hope you like this reading. Let me know in the comments what you think, if this was accurate for you, and if you're excited for what is coming. Take good care of you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. And now the second one with the rose quartz. Let's discover what is coming for you in five years. So first of all, we have the Angman. So I'm not wanting you to be afraid of this, because this is all about 
you surrendering to things in order for you to understand your true nature because i'm seeing gold coming out of his mouth so it's all about understanding your true essence okay you're not this body you're not the mind you are beyond this you're magical and i'm seeing transformation and rebirth with the butterfly um i feel like for some of you this can be talking about reincarnation but for the majority of you this is actually talking about you becoming your true self, understanding your true nature. So that can be some awakening, spiritual awakening that is manifesting. Because I'm seeing growth, I'm seeing gold, I'm seeing kind of like the butterfly announcing this transition, this transformation that it will have on you so you can be this better self. So you can see life through a different perspective that is more connected to your true nature and to your soul's perspective. But this can also be talking about the sacrifices you will need to make in order for things to actually find order, okay, for things to work for you. But yes, transformation, kind of like a rebirth. For some of you, this will actually talk about this. I have to be honest with you. For some of you, this is you transitioning to a new incarnation, all right? But like, this can be for one person here watching. But for the majority, it's all about ascending, ascension, awakening. And the sun is all about clarity, the truth as well. So this is definitely talking about this. All right, so understanding your own truth, understanding your own power, shining, finding happiness, joy, fulfillment, warmth as well. So attracting people or events or experiences that are going to bring you that joy, happiness, stability. And you can see she's celebrating, having fun, dancing here. This can also be you doing some type of art. If you are wanting to be under the spotlight, this can also be the message here. So the sun shining on top of you, like the light shining on top of you. And you are divinely guided to do that, actually, because you can see her shining, growing. With the sunflowers, this can also be talking about success for me. So you are manifesting that success and that growth. And this is because you was discovering who you are. And this can be discovering who you are and what you need to do through failures, all right? So whatever is not working, this is teaching you something all the time. Rather it's a relationship, rather it's, um, I don't know, like a very difficult time, a trauma even. This is always here to teach you and to better yourself and better your life, only if you understand the message, of course, all right? so. Try to sit down with yourself and be like, what is this teaching me? Or what was this event or this difficult time or difficult relationship here to teach me? So I can grow, so I can shine, so I can embody the sun. This can also be announcing the divine masculine entering your life. So if you are looking for love, this can also be you manifesting someone that is connected to you through a divine connection. So soulmate or twin flame or beyond this because all these labels are very limited and I think there's more to it. So that's what I'm getting here for you. Celebrating, having a wonderful life, joyful life, success definitely, and maybe manifesting someone that is going to also have and possess this energy and wanting to share with you. Then we have the eye priestess, all right? So what I'm getting, especially with the tarot appearing, it can also be that you are a clairvoyant or you need to use your intuition in order for yourself to be guided. Um, I'm seeing crystal, so it's all about understanding, understanding your own power of healing. I'm seeing Taurus, the symbol tattooed on the shoulder, so you can be Taurus. And this is pretty much it. Um, kind of seeing fire sign with the sun. But the third eye is activated. So like I said, I think the end man is really representing that transition, that awakening of the soul. So now you are seeing things clearly. Okay, you are seeing beyond the veil of this reality. And with the moon here again, it's all about recognizing the clarity, seeing things clearly. And again, connected to intuition. We have the hollow. So you are divinely supported and guided. That's for sure. This one is also inspiring you to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, to trust the guidance you are receiving, all right? So anything that seems like a coincidence, this is not, this is really here as a message to guide you and help you. Maybe tarot is also going to be a tool or crystals are going to be tools that are going to help you to understand your path, understand your purpose in this lifetime, and also to understand what is here to welcome and what is here to not really tune into and continue on the right path for you. 
the protector. So you are protected. I mean, that's obvious to me because you are divinely awakening. And now that you are on the right path, you are provided that protection. And I'm seeing all the stars, so you are meant to shine. The clouds is for me about aligning with a dream of yours. So understanding what is the dream in order for you to shine. I'm seeing the, the sun becoming one with the moon. And with the sun card appearing here, and the moon here, and the moon here, I feel like this is also announcing some union with the feminine and the masculine. All right, and if you are a girl liking girls, this can also be a message for you that you are going to encounter the right person for you, all right? So it's all about becoming one, completeness, with someone that is right for you, that is going to protect you, guide you, help you to be happy, and help you to discover the things that you need to work on in order for you to free yourself. And maybe the protector, I'm seeing this as divine protection, but I'm also seeing this person that you are manifesting in love actually being someone that is going to be your protector, guiding you in life, helping you to see beyond the veil or whatever people project their characters so you can see who they truly are and you know make the right choices when it comes to welcoming them or not really wanting to be in their company. This card can also be related to the death card and the death card is also about understanding what you need to end in order for you to start new beginnings that are going to align with something a lot more brighter. So that is why I'm seeing protection when it comes to ending things in order for you to flourish and start a new beginning that is going to be bright and beautiful. And we have the sun again. I mean, this is obvious for me. You are going to experience the right things, the beautiful things in order for you to bloom. I'm seeing you bathing into the cup. The cup is representing for me you having enough to give. I'm seeing art with the brushes right there. Hopefully you can see it. So the brushes, I'm seeing the book, so you can be a writer, someone that is drawing or into the art. I'm seeing music here. I'm seeing freedom with a bird in cage. I'm seeing a baby being born. So maybe the soul about having, giving birth to something or giving birth to a baby, so maybe creating a family with someone. I'm seeing fish, so that can be announcing maybe a Pisces entering the life or swimming freely in one direction. The water is being calm here, so you need to find stability within and peace within. And with this cup here, that means working on your own cup, satisfying your own self, so you can shine on your own. The number one is leadership. This is all about new beginnings as well. And I think this card was presenting you that energy. This transition, ending anything that is not working in order for you to shine in the right relationships or in the right experiences, in the right work or whatever is calling you. But this is you on this card, understanding your power in order for you to shine. So this is very important for you to understand what is important at the moment so I can work on this and this will bring me the success I am looking for, and trust me, with two suns appearing, that will be powerful. Magician and the mirror. And it's funny how we were talking about you manifesting your reality. Okay, so your mirror, you are the mirror of your own reality. So whatever you manifest is just telling you anything about yourself, everything about your own energy, anything you provide okay so this is coming back to you so if you want this reality to be a beautiful reflection then you need to work on the magician on this inner magic you possess within but also i have this message for twin flames because i'm saying feminine energy and masculine energy so yin and yang kind of becoming one and this is because the magician the magic within you is allowing this manifestation of relationship so that can be uniting with the divine masculine or divine feminine, becoming one, giving birth even to a baby. But I'm seeing kind of a, um, a start of a powerful relationship here. Divine relationship for sure. And you can see the infinite symbol. So yes, divine relationship. The number five is about creation. All right, magic as well. The number three is about growth. So that is what this is announcing, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> Look out. All right. 
So giving yourself some permission to, I think this is related to this image, this imagery that I have in my mind of you giving yourself a, a chance to step further, to do things that are a bit more scary to you so you can look out, outside of yourself. I hope this is clear, but I have this very clear vision in my mind, so I hope this can be transferred as a message. You know, when sometimes we do not listen to our fears and allowing ourselves to do things, then this is kind of making us recognize that we are not our fears, we are not the character we want to play. So when we give ourselves a chance to look outside of ourselves and do the things with excitement, without worrying, we are a lot more powerful than we believe we are. So it's all about looking out for opportunities, looking out for the things that are going to open up for you. If you receive opportunities that are exciting, but a part of you is a bit afraid of it, take it. Take it because the moment you say yes, you find the way to manifest it in your reality and you find a way to not be scared anymore about all the wonderful things coming your way. So it's all about understanding you are not this character. You are not your limitations. You are not the fear. So when you step further and allow yourself to just see things and being welcoming with whatever is coming your way, then this is what is going to offer you the right opportunities even better than you expected. Mm, I'm also seeing this go on the stool. So that can also announce you being on the pedestal, you being seen. And like I said, this can also be you being on stage, shining to people, being an inspiration, you know, being under the spotlight. And I, I truly think I'm talking to you guys, um, like artists or people wanting to have the best career wanting to be a good inspiration for people, healing people even. That's what I'm getting here. Because you have enough in your cup. You are skilled enough to build that success. Remember, number one is about leadership. So you are meant to be a leader, an inspiration, and to understand your divine power so you can use it for your benefit, but also for people to benefit from this. Step by step. So you are building a success step by step. It's all about understanding the process of things. Not, I mean, you can manifest a result right now, like instant results, but it's so much more exciting to see things growing, to see things challenging you in a way so you can adapt and change a few things. You know, it's always here to teach you. It's always here to improve things. I'm seeing freedom with your success, so you need to free yourself from like I said, maybe worries or fears or this character you play. And so you can manifest the right things for you. Right here, you can see the cage and also the star in it. So you are meant to be a star. You are meant to shine. Now it is time for you to free yourself. We have the bird, so it's a symbol of freedom. Flying freely, opening your wings. And this is what you can see with the sun energy. This girl is celebrating, going with the flow, allowing things to manifest, allowing things to be, allowing herself to be. Because the fears we may have, they often limit ourselves, okay? And they do not allow ourselves to be our true self or to do the things that we truly love to do. So stop this program, stop this inner voice. If this one is not supporting you to shine, if this one is not supporting you to be your true self, this is a voice of lies. And this one, shut it down, okay? And work towards something, an energy that is going to support your success. But this is going to come step by step. So same thing if it's all about inner work. This is all about understanding you need some time. You need some time to process. You need some time to believe in yourself, in your dreams, or in whatever you actually find beautiful. So you can manifest it in your reality because this life is your mirror. This is your making. You are that powerful. So now the message is for you. The man with a new idea is a crank until the idea succeeds. Oh yes. <laughs> and I've been there, my friend. I've been there. Does not experience the wind and rain. How can you see the rainbow? See? So these things that are challenging in our lives are actually needed in order for ourselves to 
bring all that blessing in our lives. This is helping us to redirect even so you can shine. Wisdom outweighs any wealth. So work can invest in yourself on your own wisdom. And a wealth is going to come. I can guarantee it. Much effort, much prosperity. Very beautiful and inspiring. So this is it for the cards. I'm now going to use the other techniques to discover more information. So I will be starting with the Wheel of Fortune. I was using this one in the lottery reading. This one was a pretty good one, so make sure to check it out. So I'm going to turn the wheel three times and this is going to show us what is coming your way for the next five years. Miracle. Can you see it? Beautiful. Try again. All right. Lose. All right. So like I said in the first group, this really means that for gain, sometimes you need to lose things in the process. So it's all about understanding that yes, in the process, you will lose people, you will lose maybe opportunities or maybe you will have to say goodbye to a work but this is about saying goodbye so you can gain something a lot more in connection with your core with your frequency and with your passion or with your purpose in this lifetime so losing is a form of gain as well so this is it for the wheel of fortune i am now going to use this little bag and in this one we have a few messages so I'm going to pick two of them. You can't live a positive life with a negative mind. Yes, my friend. Okay, and the second one. Interesting. So we have all the month appearing right here. So this really means for me that your success is going to be based on your work, on your dedication, okay, on the energy you put into in the long term. This is not something that is going to happen like right away and then like you have nothing to do. It's a process and I think this is why the step by step um, card was appearing to tell you it's a work, it's a journey, okay, so welcome it. So I'm now going to use this grid and the charms. So all around I'm seeing growth and protection with the leaf. I'm seeing the turtle and the turtle is for me about wisdom and also things um, moving slow when they are not on, on, I mean, in the water. So that means if you are not in alignment with what you are supposed to do in your element, then things are going to move slowly. So this is also going to be an indicator that this is not right for you. But if things are moving super fast when you are in your element, just like a turtle, then you will see that things are actually right for you. This is what you are supposed to do. So try to keep that in mind and also to be wise with the things or the people you welcome. Here I'm seeing the anchor and I'm seeing meditation, maybe doing something connected to your spirituality and settling for that is going to offer you protection because the circle is for me protection, but this can also be about manifesting people in your soul circle. Um, maybe communicating with them with meditation or connecting in dreams. But I feel like, yes, it's all about understanding the deep connection with everyone, pretty much, because we are all one. So, with work, this was on home. So I'm seeing you actually being protected by your angels with your home, so maybe with your family as well. Um, if you work from home, I'm also seeing this as divine abundance, but love especially, because in the middle you can see the heart shining. Um, work. I'm seeing things moving super quickly, super fast for you, because the rabbit is a symbol of things manifesting fast. I'm seeing the egg, so that can also be coming into life, giving birth to something, a project, 
a career. Mm, and travel and the self, I'm seeing the starfish. So it's all about shining, adapting as well, moving in the right direction. So if there's a place that is calling you, maybe that's about traveling to that place. This can also be about shining bright, just like the star. So shining bright for yourself, transitioning towards something, a goal that is going to be bright for you. So I'm now going to continue with the stickers. So, I really like this message, only take what's necessary, all right, so understanding what is necessary for your own growth or your evolution through the years. So we have charm, so we charming someone, someone that is charming, entering your life, what's up? So I'm seeing kind of a connection with someone, I'm also seeing someone here on the scene with growth. And there's like cake and flowers, celebration. I feel like this is a birthday, a birthday. So maybe growing through the years with someone that is going to accompany you and celebrate, you know, you just being alive. And birthday is like, like a very symbolic time. All right. Lucky chance, lucky chance. All right, so travel. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing this as transition, like things moving for you, and this is actually a part of luck. Growth and travel, I'm seeing like a good appetite. Mm, and this is actually something that is nourishing for you, that's fun. I'm seeing you singing as well. Growth, I'm seeing no. So maybe there is something that is a part of growth that you'd not really accept or be okay with. But you have to understand that this is manifesting for you to level up. For family, I'm saying ink and I'm saying kind of a note that you write. So maybe writing a new story when it comes to family connections. I know that some of you really do not have like strong bonds with your family and this can also be announcing this. If you want to manifest like new, uh, new connections or healthier connections, then you can write it. Okay, you can manifest this reality and you can do so with different techniques like visualization, meditation, uh, scripting, even affirmations, subliminals, even that can really help. Open your mind, yes, when it comes to family connections. Again, I'm kind of seeing you working on something. So working on family connections, that may be important for you guys. With grow family and work, I'm seeing you with a pen. So it's all about writing a new story for you. It's amazing. So you can write a result that is going to be amazing for you. So money and home. Hmm. So maybe thinking about how to make money, maybe from home even, that can be a message for some of you. Like gloomy days. I feel like this is all about welcoming as well, like gloomy days and sunny days. When it comes to like your home, so maybe connections with people in your family uh, or the people you live with. Mm, that can also be about people feeling a bit depressed because they are living alone. If this is the case, maybe find a way to live with someone, maybe with a friend or maybe you will encounter someone that is going to really brush away that gloominess. Um, I'm seeing a present that you buy. That's going to be school. So maybe making money because you were studying the right things for you. Cheer. So your energy when it comes to money is all about how you cheer yourself up, how you believe about the results and yourself. So you manifest this. With love, I'm saying well done. I'm seeing a bridge. Okay, so maybe someone is going to be a bridge um, when it comes to that encounter of love. So if someone is telling you, let's go party or let's go somewhere or let's travel together, that can also be in an introduction. So that bridge with that event is going to lead you towards this new love. 
with the self I'm saying winter maybe winter is a moment of self-care I'm seeing you floating Mary Poppins is appearing so I think it's all about understanding the magic within you so you can free yourself and experience different things and I'm seeing someone walking and determined here so making progress when it comes to self and transitions um, freeing yourself as well I think is going to be important so this is it for the charms and I'm going to conclude the reading with the dice. So the number two is about relationship and union. Okay, so I feel like you are manifesting good relationships. Honestly, I feel like you are working on yourself and this may be the focus. And during the time that you work on yourself, this is when you will allow someone that is going to be the right person. It's like Prince Charming. <laughs> and the number four is about stability. So building something strong, building a relationship or a career even that is going to find stability and balance. So this is it for this reading. I hope this will be helpful for you and that you will like what is coming your way. Take good care of you and I will see you on the next one. And the last pile, let's see what is coming for you for the next five years. Okay, so the first card is the Ace of Cups, as you can see. So this is a card talking about love and abundance. So if not a relationship, then this can also be like a new career, a new flow that is going to allow you to grow thanks to the things you love. So all about nourishing what is important for you because you can see them blooming. Anything you put attention, care, time, love and effort to is going to grow and bloom beautifully. Um, I'm seeing the dove here and this one is wounded. Okay, so I think this is kind of reminding you that if you was wounded in a loving relationship or maybe with your career or studies, this is really telling you this is not defining who you are. The wound is here to teach you something, is here in order for you to understand your strength, so you can manifest right is right for you. And the dove is a symbol of love, peace and freedom. So you are meant to free yourself from any type of program, any type of fear, any type of trauma that is limiting yourself to believe and manifest this new beginning for yourself, this new beginning of love, this new relationship, this new opportunity, whatever you are asking for or looking for to manifest is going to manifest if you believe in it, if you allow yourself to welcome that flow. Because you can see the wings are open, so you need to be open to receive. If you are holding on to something, your palm are not in receiving mode, so allowing things to be is what is going to allow you to experience whatever is right for you. The Ten of Wands. And maybe you came here because something is a bit challenging these days. Maybe something is a bit difficult, but this is a part of mastery. You know, when something is a bit, yeah, challenging and kind of like teaching us in the hard way, this is an order for us to really focus on the true goal. All right, because when you are so passionate about like a result that you want to create or a person you want to date, then no matter what is happening, you are always going to give it a chance, okay? And really provide anything that's needed in order for you to have the best result. And I think this is what this card is showing you. If you are hardworking, just like this beetle, the beetle can actually carry a lot of weight. This one is hard working. This one is always bringing the right changes because this is in order for things to work. So, and the beetle is actually a symbol of change as well and hard work. So that's what I'm getting here. The 10 is about completion. So the hard work you will put into whatever is important for you, okay, is going to come into the best result, is going to manifest the most amazing things for you. I'm also seeing this as structure, building something and also being provided the help that you need in order for, the, for you to build something. So that can be a partner in a loving relationship. That can be someone working with you. If you are working alone, that can also be an inspiration you are seeing. And this can be with a video on YouTube, you know, someone that is providing you the boost and the help to 
think positive, to be a fighter, for you to manifest your goals or manifest a better reality for you to experience. So be aware of this. The power is within you. And whatever is around you can provide you even more of that faith and power within. This is also a card that is announcing that the goal that you have is near you, okay? So you are leading yourself towards it and you will find completion in that ascension, in that road. The will card, and you can see the egg opening up. So you are giving birth to something, okay? And this is about to manifest into reality. Um, you can also see all the symbols all around. And this reminds me of like the, um, the flower of life. So you are bringing life to something, to a relationship, to uh, a career, a new career or new studies or something like this. This can also be giving birth to a baby if you are in a relationship, if you are wanting for things to move in that direction. But yes, this is all about things working for you. The world, it's all about inspiration inspiring as well people, inspiring the world all around you, bringing that energy of power and growth and birth so you can inspire people. This is also a card of completion and the 10 number was announcing this and also realization and success and you are going to be fulfilled because I feel like you are building a successful relationship and a successful career for yourself or studies if you will still study but i feel like this is all about manifesting your goals and like this card was telling you the near the near goal is about to manifest and the egg is just like ta-da this is presented to you this is for you the eye priestess right so it's all about trusting your intuition understanding your own power and you can see she's focusing on her own, her own goal, let's say, her own activity. So the more you put attention, energy and effort to something, that is what is going to bring that flow. Because you can see the waves on the background. You can also see the pillar, kind of like a bridge of protection. So I feel like this is all about building something strong, things manifesting. Um, I'm seeing two lions right here. They're cut. But the lion is all about strength and courage passion as well the two number is about union so maybe uniting with someone the flowers to blooming as well the clarity with the moon inspiration the moon is also related to the feminine energy so maybe you are manifesting the feminine or empowering the feminine if you are a woman for example and my microphone is showing one 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 so this is a new divine beginning that is manifesting for you and you are leading yourself towards it i mean this was the first card's energy. And the eye priestess is also talking about trust. So you need to have trust within yourself to find inner peace so you can build that success for yourself. I think for this group, this is very related to like divine connections, divine relationship, especially although I'm seeing work as well. So I feel like what is really important is the connection you have or that you will create when it comes to love because i'm seeing this as marriage like celebration the temple path this can also be related to like the the calling of your soul if not a loving relationship so that can be like a purpose that you have like a divine mission that you have understanding what is my path what is my purpose in this lifetime what can i do so i can ascend towards a divine towards the divine or a divine place within you, of course, because that reality, you know, you experience this, but you not you do not really carry this with other incarnations, just a memory of it. So it's all about understanding this lifetime is an opportunity for you to grow, is an opportunity for you to ascend, okay? And also to deliver all the things to inspire people, to work towards their goals, to understand their purpose, to give birth to whatever is important for them, to find peace within and fulfillment and abundance. So this is also inspiring you to tune into this powerful energy that you possess so you can create the right things for you. I'm also seeing yin and yang energy, so that can be twin flame or soulmate relationships manifesting. Like I said, this can be divine union, maybe a divine marriage, 
Um, I'm seeing pillars again. So it's something that is going to bring structure. This is a committed relationship or a commitment when it comes to your mission, your path. Understanding that this lifetime was given to you for a purpose. And now, what is the purpose for you? If you want, you can also come to me to have a personal reading so we can discover it together. Or you can see someone you believe or find other readings on YouTube. But I feel like you, you may know, like whatever is connected to your passion, your skills, whatever is calling you and that is going to benefit people at the same time is pretty much your purpose. So this is what this card is announcing. Number one, connected to the ace. So this is a new beginning. Number two, connected to the eye priestess. This is, for me, someone that is connected to you divinely. This is a relationship, a connection you are going to make or you will improve through the time. And look, okay, caring connections. This is so connected and beautiful. So you are manifesting this person. And if you are not interested about love now, yet, maybe you will, you know, in the future. So be open with what is being presented to you. Just like the dove, open your wings, allow things to come. If they come, it's because you are ready, all right? So allow things to be. So I'm seeing a caring connection, someone that is very loving, protective, that is going to understand whatever you like and provide you anything that you find beautiful in life. Um, I'm seeing growth with the tree right here, the nature all around. I'm also seeing you two blooming together with a bouquet. Number one, new beginning. Number four, stability. So you are going to build, like I said, a committed relationship, a structured life. You know, and the four is also about structure, building, and pillar, becoming your own pillar so you can manifest someone that is their own pillar. And this is what you can see here and here as well, and with the four number. So this is super important for you to find stability in your life, in your career, within yourself, with your mental state as well, so you can manifest a stable relationship as well. Joy. Look, I mean, this is very beautiful. This energy of this group is like very, very strong and pure and divine. Um, I'm saying also things coming into flourish and wishes coming true because you can see the dandelions and you know when you blow on them, you make a wish. And this reminds me of that. You are actually wishing for something. Maybe you need to actually write down all the things, all the goals that you may have all the things you wish to accomplish in five years, and this will come into flourishing. You give it energy, faith, trust, and then this manifests peacefully. When you are in receiving mode, always. When this abundance, this flow, is meant to flow. So understanding the right timing is important. Understanding your own energy, faith, belief, are also very important. Joy is manifesting for you. You will be happy. And I just noticed this. <laughs> Look, the wings being open and joy is going to be presented to you when you are going to open your arms to it. So this is your making. This is in your power. Take risks. <sighs> and again, being welcoming, showing one direction. This is where I want to go. Yes, this is not the easiest path. But this is where I need to go. And it's funny because on one group, I was thinking, I think this was in the first one, I was thinking of this scene with the lion, the, the, the Lion King, that's the title. In French, this is different. This is why I was like, uh. but yeah, anyway, so I'm kind of thinking of this scene when, you know, the, the monkey is actually presenting the lion to the mass. And this reminds me of this. So it's like, it's kind of like you are the new queen or the, the new or future queen or king. And now the universe is presenting you that power. Okay, what is your mission? Why did you came here? Okay, so you can understand your power and the importance of that incarnation. But first of all, you have to take risks in order for you to welcome what is right for you and what you are meant to experience at the moment. And this is why I think this girl is kind of showing you the direction. And because I'm seeing a little girl on these two cards, this can also be something you did when you was a kid. Because sometimes we play a role or we are attracted about things as a kid. And this is some type of 
like clues in order for us to understand okay that is what i did in past life or that is what is connected to my divine purpose my divine mission in this lifetime so i think this may be a message for some of you maybe something you was playing so maybe if as a kid you was like drawing like for me i was drawing all the time um i i love to play and record uh, <laughs> some videos um i was even playing with my cousin when we were so little and we just had fun i was also dancing so anything connected to art I was pretty much born in it, you know, so I knew that this was connected to me being a creative, okay, and, and just having fun. So I think this is also a message for you guys. Speaking of messages, let's discover the messages for you guys. I have nothing to offer but blood, tall tears and sweat. Quitters never win and winners never quit. I love this one. <laughs> I dreamt a dream. This kind of reminds me of like the quote of um, Martin Luther King, which I think was a messenger of freedom. Okay, an inspiration for a lot of people. I'm getting emotional, I don't know why. Um, maybe that is also part of your mission, guys. I mean, this is water energy, so that's also a new beginning when it comes to emotions, finding emotional balance as well. Or maybe doing a mission that is connected to freedom, peace, to inspire the world. Wow, yeah, I think you are meant to be a messenger or someone that is going to be a big inspiration of freedom or peace and love for the world. So give birth to whatever you believe in, because I feel like this is very important for you, which is why I think I'm, I was getting emotional. And the last message, our luck is turning around. Blooming. So this is it for the cards. I'm now going to continue with the other techniques. I'm going to start with the Wheel of Fortune to discover what is coming your way. So I'm going to turn the wheel three times and then I'm going to continue with the other techniques. So let's see what is coming for you in the next five years. Love. Are you even surprised? Because <laughs> I am not. lose this was appearing on all of them and that is very meaningful okay we experience loss for a reason and we have to understand what is this teaching me so yes you will lose relationships you will lose connections maybe you lose your mind even and this is all part of the process maybe you lose a job but this is in order for you to get a new chance, for you to get a new opportunity that is aligning with whatever is connected to your purpose, connected to who you are, connected to your energy, your core frequency. So this lost, anything you will lose, is important for you to redirect. That's something you have to understand. And again, this is funny because this was very connected to the first trading. So again, talking about the same message, this is important for you to understand why is this ending? Why am I losing something? So you can redirect towards abundance. So I'm going to continue with other messages. So in this one, in this bag, we have several messages. I'm going to pick two of them for you. Don't look back, you are not going that way. And this can also be you manifesting the same things over and over again because you are focusing on what you experienced in the past. But your past is not defining all the opportunities for you. Okay, so see beyond this. Open your wings, your arms, your, your palms to whatever is coming. And that can be new, that can be beautiful. So do not look back, you are not going that way. I can't do everything today, but I can take one small step. 
I like it. So I'm going to continue with this grid and the charms and stickers. So we'll start with the charms. So with love and money, I love my soldier. So with the soldier, I feel like this is like a warrior energy. So giving love, like abundantly, is what is going to attract even more of that. And money, it's like you working hard on something is going to pay off for you. For family and growth, I am seeing two dolphins. So it's all about uniting with people that are very similar to you in the essence. So maybe creating a family with someone in the future that is going to be your mirror. I'm also seeing telepathy with the dolphin. So sharing energy, sharing messages that way. With travel, I'm seeing protection and growth here. That can also be an autumn season. Traveling or transitioning because that can be transition. And oops, the stickers now. So all around, happy birthday to you. So maybe celebrating birthday with the right people. Mm, surrender. Yeah, I feel like if you create some resistance or if you resist some challenge or some lesson that is being taught by the universe, that can also be difficult. So surrender to it, allow things to be. I'm seeing um, the umbrella and whole hearts appearing on, on it. So I feel like this is all about protection because of love and because you embody love as well. Okay. So family, I'm seeing love. I usually think this is you building your family for the majority, but this can also be if you are young, maybe creating more, I mean, bringing more love, attention and care with your family members. So you can have a good time. I'm seeing party time right here. Um, I'm seeing connection with a lover, living together. I think this can be the message. So moving with someone you love in five years, growth and family, I'm seeing the tapes and the rabbit. So thing, I think this is a message of things fixing quickly because the rabbit is for me a message of things manifesting fast. For the tape, this is all about fixing. So maybe fixing things with your family. This is also a symbol of luck with the rabbit. So bringing luck to your family, fixing things that are not working, listening to people so you can work on good and healthy relationships. With the work, I'm seeing fun. So having fun at work, laughing, having that good vibe. Mm, again, I have a tape right here. So fixing things at work, learning from that as well. I'm seeing someone that is like, like, you did great, that's okay. So someone that is going to be supportive with you. And I feel like if you are wanting to end a work that is not satisfying for you, you will be presented the right opportunities for you. So this is why with the lose appearing on the wheel, that can be about losing, kind of like losing a work, a job, so you can actually align with a work that is going to be a lot more healthy for you. I mean, you can see good vibes, someone cheering you up, congratulating yourself, supporting you, helping you to grow even. Yeah. And you can see, like she's hitting her aim, her target. So that is what this is talking about. Any type of goal you may have, when it comes to your career, you are going to manifest it. Again, autumn season is appearing right there, so maybe that is important. This is also reminding me, like, this season is, is inspiring ourselves to let go and to welcome what is, and this is what you can see with a poem, being in receiving mode. So for work, I am saying something crafty, maybe. You can see the pencils, the rabbit is appearing as well, so things growing fast with your career and you can see the flowers so growing definitely i'm seeing music 
here. So maybe your work is about music, I'm saying sports as well, or something fun for you, something crafty, so maybe connected to the art or creation in general. Home. Yeah, I'm seeing a peaceful atmosphere around your home. And this can also be with the family you are going to build, so that's perfect. With money. I'm seeing the ink. So that means the abundance you are going to receive with money is pretty much your making. So the more you believe in you actually deserving that abundance, the more you will create that story for yourself. Write down that story for yourself. And there is a love letter here. <laughs> so that can also be announcing that this person you are going to create a family with a family with is going to connect with you and also bring that part of abundance. Mm. And that can also be you kind of, you know, writing down all the things you want to manifest. And this will come into flor flourishing. And that can also be a message that whatever demand you was posting to the universe, this is well received. So that will bring you more abundance. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm going to conclude the reading with the dice. So the numbers are going to show us more information with numerology. Yeah, I mean, we have the ace in the reading. So this is number one. So this is a new beginning. This is about leadership as well. The six is about beauty and love. So you are going to create a new beginning to create more beauty in your life, more joy in your life. So you can manifest love as well. So doing the things you love with excitement. This is what is coming your way. So I hope you are excited. Let me know in the comment what you think, if this was accurate, and if you are happy about what is coming your way. Take good care of your crystal souls. I will see you on the next reading.